right, it's four in the morning and I'm so tired. Heading to Boston? Yep, we're heading to Boston. All right. teenage hackers just landed in Boston and have 24 hours to compete on creating the best video game. Uh, so we're all coders and we all wanted to develop a game but we didn't really have a team, a complete team. So we just like stayed in like a group of teamless people and sort of, <laughs> and sort of just found each other and like fit into like these puzzle pieces. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So you wiggle the grass and you wiggle wiggle and it listens for when the, the majority of the input is wiggle wiggle wiggle. And then when you wiggle 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 wiggle, you get wiggle wiggle points. So we are making a college admissions simulator. Um, that is we cannot idea. say anything more. So, welcome to our clothing ceremony. You guys made it to the end. Woo! Imagine that uh, you were just recruited by Elon Musk to be the admissions officer at his new uh, university. Uh, so we have a QR code here, so if you guys want to scan it, uh, we can all play this game together and see who can get the highest score. I decided to try to do like a 2D game and I made grass, it follows the story, it starts with grass, and then the cow eats the grass, and then the cow makes milk, and then the milk goes to the store, and the store goes to the cashier, and someone buys it, and then someone drinks it, and that's like the ending. All original music, all original artwork, and it is quite difficult. Yes. Uh a 3D game on uh, Go, Go Can we give the Angel Hacks team the biggest round of applause? Woo! What's so amazing is seeing these students who have never made games before just get going. And with Angel Hacks 3.0, what was the hardest part about organizing this event? It was a game jam instead of normally what a hackathon is. It required like new messaging and new explanations of that. Also because of the time frame was really short, we had to figure out a venue in Boston, which is impossible. Not a single venue in Boston wants overnight stuff. What do you think is your favorite part about 3.0? Uh, what, what I've seen is like just the variety of what people choose to work on is really cool. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a group writing like a dating simulator. There's a group writing like a Lambda calculus game. So it's cool to just see the huge variety of programmers and uh, people with different interests and you know people who want to be more technical and people who just want to have fun. So it's cool to see like all these different uh, you know personalities and interests kind of like come together. And if you had any words of advice for other high schoolers or middle schoolers looking to host their own hackathon, what would you tell them? I would say just like have fun with it. Don't overthink it too much. You can host a good hackathon as long as you have the good vibes. A very open mindset, be very energetic. The vibe of the entire area, very happy. And like you can't go wrong with like that. If you have free food, you have good vibes, and you have good people, you're, you're, you, you, it's hard to like make the event go wrong. 